Hi. Hi, everyone. Hi, Eugene. Hi, Vince. Hi, May. Hi, my Sifu. Hi, good morning, everyone. I'm Jenny Yo. I've been 18 years in this insurance industry and 18 times of MDRT life member, six times of uh, COT, and one time of top of table. And uh, first lady of MDRT country chair in Malaysia. We are currently living in challenging times. COVID-19 of the number of the cases every day increasing. And we are currently in the restricted moment order. Many of us working from home and we can't go to office. And many of us, we even can't go out to meet our clients. The only place that we can go is to get our grocery. So during this RMO phrase, how can we make use of this time to develop ourselves, how can we stay happy, healthy, and even at this challenging COVID-19 RMO time? Today, I want to share with you the five S. The five S to live a happy, healthy, and productive life during this COVID-19 phase. And the first S, stay home. What is the means, meaning of home? The home means as enjoyable, happy place where you can live, laugh, and learn. At some, somewhere that where your love is respected, and care for. Home, where is the heart is. Home is a place of comfort. You this time to spend quality time, quality time with your loved one. And before this, every day we are busy with work. Sometimes we tend to neglect or take for granted with our loved one. So now, you this precious time to spend with your loved ones. Communicate with kind words. Say thanks. Say excuse me. Or thank you so much. I love you. Or appreciate them what they have been help you. Like say cleaning the house, cooking, you know, and uh, tidy up the place. Appreciate them. Yes, and the second S is stay safe. Make sure to follow the precaution. Wash your hands frequently, wear the mask when you go out. And then COVID is a coronavirus that have two weeks incubation, incubation period. So during this time, a person with positive COVID might be asymptomatic means that don't have sign and symptom if the person infected with positive covid also he or she doesn't know you know so this person is most contagious so we don't know so please wear masks if you go out yeah and wash frequently your hand with soap and water so take a good care of health by staying safe. Yeah. And my third S, stay positive. With so many things happening, it is very hard to stay positive, right? So number of cases of COVID increasing every day. 
from the news, from the Facebook, from the social media. So we become so scared to go out. We become so bored sometimes, right? So with this, we must be how to stay positive. So with this, we must be aware and mindful of the this situation. Be aware of what? Be aware of what we can control and what we cannot control. So for me, I draw the two circle, the inner circle, what I can control, what I can do. The outer circle, what that I cannot control. You know, example, like how long this COVID-19 will last? And, and how other people react on this situation? And why so expensive the mask? So this we can't control. And what we can control, example that, stay positive attitude. And uh, turn off the, the, the news. If you, if it make you scared, you can turn off. Or, you know, limit yourself with the social media. Or have fun with your children, right? So the thing that we can control, we cannot control, we let go. And things that will give us a peace of mind to focus on only the thing that we can control. So with this, you can stay positive, right? And my four S, stay motivated and productive. How to stay motivated with this COVID-19 situation? Okay, home is a so comforting, right? Something we become too comfortable sometimes, right? How to stay productive? and motivated so for me set a time to do something and stick to the routine follow your schedule example every day i wake up at 7 a.m and every day at 8 a.m i will i will walk my dogs for 30 minutes and by 11 o'clock you know I sure follow the MDRT Facebook Live and to listen to the speaker to motivate me. Yeah. And I will cook lunch for my children. And I practice this every day. Example, you can do exercise every day for an hour or read a book, call a few clients and ask how are they doing or do something that you enjoy birth like your hobby. Like me, I like to cook, you know. And so make a timetable for yourself. Follow your routine. When you keep following your routine, it will become a habit, you know. And you will have the momentum. And automatically, you, you will be productive and motivated. Okay? And my... Fifth S, seek for opportunities. Example, this is half full glass of water. Half full, okay? And when you're half full, means you are not fully motivated, not fully positive. And when you are not fully motivated and positive, then you are not able to grow or to help others fully. Right? Okay. With this, I fill in the water until it full. So means that a fully Feel 
with full of positive energy and feel with overflow of love and motivated and you grow and this is a time that you seek for new opportunities and you can help others around you this is a simple example to show you the full cup full of energy full of positive energy and motivated and be centered and from there you can help others and seek for new opportunity see the way that how to help others example you can coach your team coach your mentee or share your ideas yeah example using your talents to help others you know my party uh, young lady uh, party teacher she showed me yesterday she cooked nasi lemak to send to the frontliner i said wow so talent so good with her nasi lemak you know and for me i buy a lot of flour and i like to make donuts and make pao i'm good at that and i give to and distribute to my neighbors and the children and they are very happy because my pao is so good and it's so nice and when they're happy i'm very happy you know so and all adapting a new changes you know and help the rest of unfortunate yeah less fortunate people you know so you can help like you know one of our speaker you know, michelle said that do community work you know so help to raise fund for the for me every year i do a uh, uh, raise fund for the handicapped children so i help to you know provide you know uh, send rice oil for their cooking oil for them you know for this situation these unfortunate people you know they let off a donation from 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 people so this is the time that we can do something you know to help them yeah so and and so remember this 5s first s stay home home is our heart is where the most comfortable and where is our family our loved one and second s stay safe please take precaution and take care yourself and stay positive yeah with the positive energy you know and stay put motivated and productive means that once you are motivated and you're productive then you have a very clear mind you know what you want to do you seek for opportunities and with this five s you can live a happy healthy and peaceful mind during this rmo phase yeah so with this uh i would like to answer some question and um, if you have any question you can ask me and okay and um and i look for the any question here you can post a question in the in the mdrt i know uh, comments there yeah any question and um i also uh like to give some uh idea when uh, you call your client because um so far you know uh for yourself is the time to read about the policy that you have it you know yourself the policy uh, document that you read about critical illnesses that how much you have covered for the emergency cash account 
for the ongoing cash needs and for the uh, future needs. So with my, my expert and my, my, uh, the, my I'm good at with critical illnesses, so it's a time for you to read up your own uh, policy that uh, the illnesses, that critical illnesses, that how many that you have injured. And, um, and with this, this is a time that you sell, educate yourself, read up the policy that what are the illnesses, how many are there? Because in the market now, the critical illnesses, not only 36, that it might be 43, 53, 68, or even that 160 illnesses with early stage and intermediate stage and late stage. So for you yourself, you find out what, how much you have been insured for your three needs. That's emergency needs, ongoing needs, and your future needs. So read out because I, I put it as four, uh, four uh, uh, areas in the critical illnesses. That is from the heart, that's eight of them, brain, 13 of them, and the chronic is 18 of them, and the face is four of them. So you read up your own policy. You know, what is the medical definition? But I, I'm sure you are, I know a medical term is not easy to understand. But it's good that you can check on the Google or to find out like heart attack and, and what is sign and symptom or the stroke, how it can happen to the YouTube with a picture. And then this you can share with your client and also educate your client. And to remember all these critical illnesses, so many, I'm sure that you will be, I know, uh, 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 worried how to remember and even your own policy you also don't understand so don't worry don't worry you know you just need to know the top five critical illnesses definition because we know how to sell critical illnesses is the income protection and income replacement it's the only two you know and but with this with this the the the, the top five definition you need to know and understand it because not only know how to sell you must know how to uh, claim also help your client to claim i know so the top five net definition is already stated in the my simple ciq here that i invented so example the the top five critical illnesses that you know, be claim always claim one is cancer heart attack bypass stroke and kidney failure an example like say your client call you i know your client children call you you said that my my father admitted hospital for two weeks already and been diagnosed stroke so when they call you like that what is your answer is it stroke can claim just admitted two weeks and diagnosed stroke and in your policy document stroke had to wait for three months right so they have to have stroke signs symptom of stroke for three months and example cancer if the cancer in the policy definition it never state what stage it never said stage one or stage four only can claim never it must be the malignant and the other medical term is invasive if without this invasive in medical term, your client can't claim. Can't claim. It, it don't fulfill the medical definition in the policy. So it's good that you read up your own policy on the critical illnesses and find out which part of the organ that involve, you know, and you understand it. When you understand it, you know how much you cover your needs, your three needs. Is it sufficient? If not, it's the time now you know, for you to analyze it and understand it and know how to claim on the common top five you know, critical illnesses. And from there, when you know well and you understand it and you know the need is, must be sufficient in case you know, things happen, in case being diagnosed. And from here, you can educate your client, call your client, 
that what you know uh, from their insurance uh, policy that critical illnesses that bought from you then it's a time that you also build up the the relationship with them and show that you are so care when you care they are very uh, uh, confident with you yes thank you very much and um, yeah and uh, I look at uh, what are the question okay what are the book okay to stay positive I I read this very easy to to it's a simple and and thin and uh, very nice who move my cheese whose cheese can I move <laughs> or who move my cheese this how it made me when about 20 years ago I got this book and that is where I learned from this book how to switch myself to be to positive to stay positive and and every time whatever situation how bad is the situation my mind I will always remember this book and switch to positive sorry my alarm clock and uh, how can I reach out to your client under current situation yes of course we cannot meet our client we cannot uh, 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 be on our control and what can I control what can I do that the only thing that I call them and one day I list down 10 client name that I want to call and I want to ask how are they and that is the only place I, I mean the only way I can reach out them and sometimes on, on the video uh, video whatsapp call and once they see me and they're very happy and first thing that I always smile I say hi how are you when they see my chubby face they are very happy and uh, okay for new agent for new agent what is the tips and how to uh, do opening to have a critical illnesses now so in this situation when you want to talk critical illnesses people are already afraid or is scared of this COVID-19 so in this situation I I'm not so to open as a critical illnesses insurance the only only thing that you can uh, uh, share with them that I uh, know uh, this if they they already have policy with you that what company that can provide if they are confirmed COVID-19 and the COVID-19 the test that is uh, subsidized by the insurance company so this is the thing that you can inform them so in terms of like say critical illnesses people don't want to buy critical illnesses remember and I don't sell critical illnesses I sell income protection plan or income replacement in case diagnosed critical illnesses and people don't want to buy don't say that I sell in critical illnesses no you don't sell I don't sell illnesses to people yeah remember the words be be mindful yeah and okay do I feel down and my sharing when you are super down how do you snap out of it okay when i down first thing i think why i analyze it i draw it out again i draw it out this two circle and i self check and ask why i'm down today and what is the cause feel me down and i write it down and this this I felt it down due to can I control it or in within of I, 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 I can't control it or can I control it 
So I check, self check first. And is it that so bad? The situation, is it so bad? You know? Or not that bad one. You know? Or and is it, is it cost me? Is cost me any uh, 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 benefit on that if I continue like that? And what is the consequences or, or what it will affect me if I continue down like that? So I always sell check and sell us and always draw these two circles you know, to check. If not, then it's okay. Just take a deep breath and be mindful and aware. Okay, life had to move on. Yeah. And uh, and how you approach your client till they sign up case, especially during, yes. Yes, I did a uh, go case. Uh, how I approach them. Because again, my expertise is uh, 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 these uh, critical illnesses, insurance, yeah. And uh, before that, I've been follow up with them. But because the, the schedule is so busy, so then I take this opportunity to send them their assisting uh, uh, policy with me. Some of them even have 10 policy with me for the whole family. So I make, I ask my assistant to make analysis. And from there, on the Zoom meeting or on the WhatsApp video call, I show them, I email them their analysis chart. From there, I explain how much your total cover for yourself, for your wife, for your children now. And now, with latest that, I know last time where you cover is only 36 illnesses. Now we have 160 and how it works. And it's good that you upgrade it to 160 critical illnesses, I know because this cover early stage, intermediate stage and the late stage. Even the late stage also now increased to 53. So from there, they listen and they agree because whatever that they have for me with me like example medical they only have medical i mean they have sufficient medical coverage and i explain to them medical coverage is only help you to settle your medical bill in hospital and the doctors you know your treatment bill but as a patient even diagnosed as an early stage early blockage of the heart disease or early cancer like carcinoma in situ yeah but as a patient, they have no money. But yet, you had to take 6 months to 12, to 12 months to get recovery. So in this, in this time, at least you can earn some 100,000 from early state diagnosis for this policy. So from then, they agreed to sign up. And with our company, with this uh, uh, um, uh, COVID-19, this phase and you know, uh, restriction of the movement order, so by this latest technology, I also thanks to the technology by RSO remote something to show that you're holding your IC and snapshot that is considered sign and agree. So that is where I also close and uh, uh, consistently, you know, uh, there is a few cases in one day. Yeah, so I'm still uh, very motivated, even though in this situation and uh, also productive yeah and um, yeah and the conversation with the client yes I already share and um, um, and how you approach your client so okay um where you get the kids in that so knowing your expert in analysis plan can you share with us okay and uh
uh, can you share your ah analysis chart okay can you okay i will not with me here you know so all in uh all in my uh ipad my uh, analysis chart so that analysis chart is one glance that you know i send email to my client and one glance that they can see the total of life plan that with, with me and then the uh, total of the these are uh, critical illnesses insurance that cater for emergency need uh, ongoing need and future need and also uh, they know that how much the medical so i i every year make a point that i uh, know visit my client twice a year or i uh, know do a review at least one review with them of their total policy with me and uh, give them an analysis chart and also uh, on the the children's uh, children's education plan where the fund the cash value that is sufficient for another next five years or another next 10 years and also now i've been 18 years in this uh, insurance i know uh, 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 business and uh, now my client mainly is on, uh, on retirement or going to retirement or the third generation they are even the grandma, I know, grandma, grandpa bought a legacy plan for the grandchildren. So, yeah, it's a third generation, and uh, yeah, I, I I'm glad, I know, this is a beauty of the, this business because uh, with eighteen years, the clients still with me, yes. And uh, any question that. Uh, Okay, and how to how to motivate client who attempted to buy but she is IT literally and uh, through we have non face to face transaction I also don't want giving impression so who see ah oh, yes yes actually in this um, situation we can't be pushy yeah we can't be pushy because we want to Put in our position in client shoes that in this situation is the best that how we can uh, no, motivate them or uh, 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 share with them how to stay positive and no worry on them and from there when they are they they you can communicate with them you show the care only people can put the trust and agree and then to listen to you or your advice you know or their assisting plan because I find that everyone at home now you know and I also arrange my appointment my appointment means whatsapp video call or zoom meeting with them and then uh, uh, I make appointment and for me I follow this 25 point system that 25 point system that we have to score 25 point daily so we focus on daily activity so from here that even that I uh, know I make appointment then I, I face to face even face to face on the whatsapp video and from there I also can score face to face appointment call <laughs> yeah so then from there when you you nice to them and explain to them I, I'm sure that the client that you know they listen to you you know because they are you are the trusted insurance uh, 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 servicing insurance agent for them yeah so i hope that this uh we we can't show a pushy remember don't show a pushy this is the time that you show the care and show the care with personalized care if your client that like cooking then you show some recipe good recipe that you have tried and successfully look so nice so i always share my pao recipe or donut recipe to them or if they have children so you find a game like folding how to folding the paper uh, for me i my my client that you know the got got the young children is is say that how to teach our children to tidy up their own toys their closet you know their drawer you know so i show them that i learned from this uh, japanese lady that cone mary the tidy up 
system called Mary Tidy Up System. I also learned from that how to let go, how to tidy up the system of tidy up. And it's very good. And once you tidy up, you, you the value of tidy up and why you want to tidy up. And from there, we have a clear, like a clear a working desk and the closet, everything that what we need, we keep. What we don't need, we donate it up or let go. When you let go, you feel, wow, so much space. Or, or you put everything on the side and start to select what the thing that you need, what the thing that you don't want or donate up. You feel that you're so happy. And you feel that, wow, actually I got so much thing to donate out. Yeah, yes. And um, and last, last one more question that um, I afraid after MCO, a lot of customers will worry about their job, income and economy. They might tell me new insurance policy is not their priority now, or they don't have money now for self-employment or businessman. So what would you suggest or advise me to do for closing more cases? Oh, okay. Now is a time that share with them what they can control now in this situation. Share with them the method of how to stay positive. I know what they can do and what they cannot do. So for their job, they cannot control. And how long this COVID-19 will last, we also cannot control. We also don't know. So, and what they can do is maybe self-improvement or, I know, uh, um, uh, read some uh, uh, skill or find this uh, new, uh, seek for new opportunity, use their talents to, I know, prepare for when this um, uh, COVID-19 over, then they can use their talent from, you know, uh, to do to something to earn, uh, 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 do a new business. Or, you know, for me, I learned this uh, Zoom meeting, I learned this uh, IT, RSO by my company, they just no need a signature, you know. So by all this IT. So learn something new and seek for opportunity by their own talents, what they have, you know, and appreciate what they have now, you know. So, and of course, if they have financial problem, how can they sign up new cases? Is, is not the time that for this, for this uh, client, you know, you can't push it to ask them to sign up the new case, yeah, because you know this is the time that you want to help them, how to help them, to. To, to help them for their financial situation for this period. You know, maybe they have some policy, they have cash value, or even that, you know, you can uh, uh, share with them some that they, they know they can do it, yeah, be, beyond their, their control. They can, they can uh, 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 produce a new idea, yeah. And, um, and yeah, time is so fast, yeah. I hope that uh, I answer your question. If not, if not, I know um, I can uh, answer and put in your Facebook live. There, we will help to uh, help you to answer. So, and time for me to, and uh, a time for me to introduce uh, uh, next speaker, the tomorrow speaker. She's a Miss Coney, and caught a table and eleven times of MDRD. And she will speak in Mandarin. Her title is Sing Sing Tai Zi Sing. And please, please, like, please like us the MDRT Facebook page. And please follow us on MDRT YouTube as the link on this comment. Yeah. You will find all the video is there. I know. And we have the best insurance forum in Asia and will be held on the August 4th of August 2020 and I hope you can come and join us and learn from the best platform speakers.
And let's pray and hope that COVID-19 pandemic will be over so that we can all get together for our Malaysia MDRD Day. And thank you so much and uh, hope to see you on the MDRD Malaysia Day. Thank you.